we're being asked to add 2,365 to 129. We're going to use what's called the column method. So we're going to line up our two numbers. What I mean by lining up is we've got the units here, units, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. So we're going to start on the right side over here and we're going to add up the units. So I've got 5 and 9, so that makes 14. This is the units, so I can only put the 4 there and the 1 goes over to the tens. I've got 6 plus 2 plus the 1, so that's 8 plus 1 which is 9. I've got in the hundreds I've got 3 plus 1 which is 4 and the thousands I've just got 2. So the answer to 2,365 plus 129 is 2,494. So here is a, well, the same numbers, but it's actually a subtraction problem. Um, we're going to do it in almost the same way. So we're going to line up our two numbers. But of course this time we're taking away. Now, if you look at our units, we've got 5, take away 9. That's going to give us a negative answer, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the tens off of here and put it onto here. So if I take one of the tens off, that goes down to 5, and this becomes 15. So 15 take away 9, that's 6. 5 take away 2, which is 3. 3 take away 1, which is 2, and 2 take away nothing is still 2. So the answer to this one, 2,365 take away 129, is 2,236. Okay, so this time we've got a decimal. Um, we're going to treat it exactly the same way. The important thing is we're still lining up all of our numbers only this time, we're also lining up our tenths and our hundreds, so we're lining up the decimal numbers as well. So 73.4 and 21.52. So we've lined up the units, the tens, the tenths, and the hundredths. There's nothing actually here. I'm going to put a zero here, just to... So we've got something there. Okay, so we've got zero plus two. That's 2. 4 plus 5, which is 9. 3 plus 1, which is 4. 7 plus 2, which is 9. So the answer is 94.92. This is take away. So same thing as before. As long as we've got it lined up, it's exactly the same. So 0 take away 2 we can't do. So take, change that to a 3 and take the 10 over. 10 take away 2 is 8. Now 3 take away 5 we can't do. So we have to take one off the hundreds and add it to the 10s, which is 13 take away 5 now. That's 8. And we've got 2 take away 1, which is 1. 7 take away 2, which is 5. So the answer is 51.88. Okay, here's a set of questions that you can have a go at. Um, pause the video, try them, and then the answers will come up at the end. Here are the answers. <laughs> 